Welcome to another episode of Shred Out of Camera. In this episode, I'm talking about a film recipe I call Patina Pastel. If you've looked through my recipe collection that I've created so far, you may have come across one called Skylight. This Patina Pastel could be a sequel of sorts, a relative to Skylight. They share um, a handful of key uh, settings and some key features. But I didn't land on this specifically to create a sequel to Skylight. That's why I named it something different. I could have called this Skylight 2 and it would have worked perfectly, but I still wanted to approach it, this in a unique way. And I had a little bit of this uh, vintage vibe uh, mood going on that I was trying to create some vintage looks again. And I just kind of landed in the same general area as Skylight. But one of the big key differences between this and Skylight is that Skylight has a locked in white balance and this has an auto white balance setting. And the look that's created with this is from the classic Chrome film simulation base, but also from the white balance shift. The white balance shift really gives the sky an interesting look similar to the skylight recipe and it really has a cool effect on some colorful signs that I was shooting downtown during the day with when you just see the the elements of the signs themselves and I really like this look I think it's um it even though it came from a motivation of trying to create something vintage I think it landed more a bit a li little bit more modern than I first intended but I'm really, really happy with the result. Some of the images that I created with this kind of give me a vibe of some of the modern photographers that I follow on Instagram that work with color. And uh, I just really like that. And I think that the um, this along with a few other recipes really shine and um, manipulating color just enough to give it a style, uh, give it a stylized look, but not making it too crazy or unsettling to the eye. So in these image samples, take a look at some of those signs that I shot downtown. Take a look at how some of the sky looks and details like that. Um, I think you'll get some interesting results, especially if you shoot this in some of those bright sunny days with some different color backgrounds and texture going on in your image. Besides a couple of the settings, specifically the color adjustment and the noise reduction adjustment, besides those, this is pretty versatile too. So you can utilize this on almost all cameras, any that, that have classic chrome in, built in, um, should be able to pull this off to a certain extent. And like always, the recipe settings should be in the description and on my blog. And keep an eye on this channel for more recipes. I'll have a lot more coming in the next few months. And thank you as always for watching and I'll talk to you next time.